Lister is a developing town in Oxfordshire. Over the past couple of years, its face has changed many times, including developments of housing, shops, and many other aspects of town life. This documentary aims to explore some of the opinions about the changes that the town has faced over the many years that have passed. I think Henry should have stayed because there's nowhere else for suits and formal wear and it's an old family business isn't it? Um, what's been quite sad is, is losing small uh, shops like Henry's uh, for example, the, the clothes store, but actually when you talk to members of the public they say oh but I used to shop there, when did you last go there? Ten years ago, right that's why it's closed and it's public choices I think that have actually driven some of the businesses away, obviously we've got the big superstores that they're competing with but actually the biggest competition is the online shop. I suppose the Edinburgh Woolen Mill shouldn't have gone, yeah. Oh, yeah, you need clothes for the older generation. We've seen a demise uh, over the past few years of what I call the local businesses. You know, butchers, the tailors, um, the ironmongers, all of these things that we used to have in. And we used to have a real a vibrant town centre, but we don't have it at the moment. I think the biggest loss the town has had was what was a while ago, and there was what is the um, TV and Hi-Fi store. Uh, which was well established and been there for a long time, so... Obviously the big one is Sainsbury's, because of what they've done with the parking and uh, that's all been very plus for the, for the town. Along with the cinema, it's been one of the big um, um, attractions, you know, which has gone down very well. A lot of people support the local um, restaurants that have... Um, come up in, in the town centre. Having, having a cinema is great, you know, you used to have to go to Cowley or Banbury, but now it's you can book the tickets and, and you're there in minutes, so that makes a difference. Yeah, I suppose Sainsbury's has, and I suppose b and &M bought a little bit of footfall in, but then building the big Tesco's has taken it away again. A, a coffee shop, that seems to be quite popular as well, but we actually need some more retail, you know, outlets. Bring Starbucks, two costas is enough. <laughs> We're on the map, in some ways you could say we're on the map because of Vista Village. It's good for the young people for work, the wages are good, but it kills us on the high street because people don't want to work for minimum wage when they can go and work at the village for a lot more. But saying that, my children work there, so yeah, it brings revenue I suppose. I'm, I'm a, I'd say I'm a reasonable user of it, um, I know there's an awful lot of controversy around the traffic, um, but it does create lots of local jobs and I actually worked quite closely with them in my role as a councillor on uh, increasing the number of apprenticeships. But it creates gridlock and chaos so people don't come into Vista. People who live in Vista tend to hate the village because of the traffic chaos it causes, but we all, well, those of us that have teenage children, are very pleased it's there because our children are well occupied working there and earning good money. But then I think also the, the people that shop at Vista Village necessarily wouldn't come down the high street anyway. It's very good that actually the information centre in Vista Village does guide a lot of people into Vista who turn up at the village expecting to see Marks and Spencers and Next and are disappointed um, and then the information centre says take a walk down that alley so you'll find Vista Town. I think the people of Vista want to blame Vista Village for everything that goes wrong in this town. Um, I think Vista Village um, probably doesn't get the credit that it actually deserves. I mean, ever since um, 1995, when it first um, opened up, it was a new uh, concept of shopping. I think it's good for Vista because it, 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 you know, it creates lots and lots of jobs. Many years ago, I used to, you know, drive my car, or one used to be able to drive their car down the centre of Sheep Street and park up there and. Go and do your shopping without any fear of a parking warden coming in or around, you know, slapping a ticket on the old windscreen. I, I do think that the town centre is suffering. We do need a few more real shops. Bristol itself is in a situation where it can be the sort of town that everybody actually sort of wants. There's a few empty shops which need to have new occupants, but apart from that, no, I think this is looking really good and it's really gearing itself up well for the massive expansion of people that's going to be coming to live here.